Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Pro Evolution Soccer 6. PES 6 is a football game developed by Konami. Okay, gameplay. Well, PES 6 still is one of the most fluid and smooth football games that I've ever played. The tight close control, the slick passing and the balanced shooting made general play a real joy. Another aspect that I really feel aided the enjoyment were the referees. They were very lenient. They didn't blow up every five seconds to break up the play. And then you add to that the goalkeepers. They were pretty well balanced in terms of skill. All these factors, you know, they're little things, but they do add to the overall sense of enjoyment. You know, maybe some of them aren't realistic, but it definitely retains the fun factor. And the invert. They've switched sides for the second half. And Henri. Cesc Fabregas. And Rosicki. There's the shot. As with other PES games, edit mode was crucial, with a lot of this stuff being unofficial. Here you could edit players, you could edit the teams, you could make new players, you could change the names of the stadium. But for me, edit mode had one highlight, and that was the boot creator, allowing you to choose boot parts and color schemes to make the perfect football boot. In terms of game modes, you had the usual exhibitions, tournaments, leagues. There was also this new international mode, which usually was only available in Japan. What you could do is you could pick a national team, play through World Cup qualifiers and try and get all the way to the World Cup final and win it. The Master League again was featured a classic game mode and the one thing in this mode you could actually pick the starting rosters. You didn't have to have the usual Master League players who let's be honest are shocking. You could start if you wanted to start with Arsenal you'd have Henri, you'd have Jumberg, um, Gilberto Silva, Fabregas etc. And you know there was also training, good training modes if you just want to harness your skills. So like, they had a bit of everything in this one, really enjoyed it. Visually, I wouldn't say it was a massive upgrade on the prior releases, but the sheer smoothness of the play and the animation made it feel very aesthetically pleasing on the whole. Sound was actually quite good, you know, the commentary was probably one of the better ones in the series, and it had a very nice flow to it. Underway, will the players respond to their respective managers' half-time team talks? Neither manager has seen fit to make any substitutions. In trouble here, ball stolen and a real chance. It's there. They've equalised. The general crowd effects I thought were good um, and other effects. The music in the menu was a bit better than previously. The interface was slightly improved. Okay, good and bad points. What's good? The passing, close control and shooting all felt slick and well balanced. There's loads of game modes. Master League was still amazing and the edit mode offers so much possibility. Bad points? The game's speed felt like it was a little bit slower, could have been more snappy, and the Master League menus and interface, I would say, were a bit overly complex. You know, it, it was a very awkward system in the Master League to just do anything. It wasn't laid out very nicely. Okay, verdict. With its wonderful close control, fluid passing, and balanced gameplay, Pro Evolution Soccer 6 was, and still is, one of the best games in the series. It had plenty of game modes to get stuck into and a fantastic edit mode for modders who still, to this very day, keep this version alive with yearly patches. For me, I wouldn't say it was the very best game in this series, but it's definitely in the top three. It's a class game and if you still have it, go dust it off, give it a whirl, as it is a damn sight better than that eFootball rubbish that they've been peddling out. What is that about, by the way? Okay, scoring, well, Pro Evo Soccer 6, I wrote down 9 out of 10 here, but if I look at the negatives, what are the negatives? There's only minimal negatives, really. So I'd give it a 9.5, actually. I changed my mind on that. 9.5 out of 10. One of the top three football games of all time. That's the review. Thanks for watching. This is PG signing off. Cheers.